We are joined here today for the Hofstra Field Hockey Pro Game Press Conference with head coach Courtney Vino. Coach, give us your thoughts following today's game against Northeastern. Yeah, um, ultimately I think it's a, a heartbreaker and a tough, a tough end there. Um, you know, I thought the first half we played a little bit frantic and, uh, you know, we're, we're first game of conference brings that out sometimes and opening up conference play. Um, I thought the second half we played much more settled and much more composed and got those circle entries. Um, and you started seeing those connections uh, up the sideline and through the middle. It was a very, very good composed game of hockey. And then the overtime, I thought the first period, I thought we were finishing it a couple times. Um, very good transitional attacking uh, opportunities and just a tough finish there um, off the penalty corner. Questions? Uh, talk about what happened after the first half. You guys were a little slow coming off in the first half. What was said during halftime that really made you guys come out much more stronger? Yeah, just trying to settle them, ultimately. Um, you know, I think conference play brings out uh, this this level of um, urgency and competition that you, it's it's hard to mimic and earlier in the season. And I'm just trying to get them composed and understanding um, they can play simple hockey and that's when we play our best hockey is when we just play the simple at all times We don't have to start forcing big balls and and whatnot. So trying to settle our backfield. We did make a switch in the press um, and, and tried to keep them on the outside of the pitch a little bit more to help with some of their internal players um, That had some good speed. So a little bit a couple changes, but really just tried to get a little bit more composure You can talk about the switch of the press you guys switched your, your wing players at one point to the opposite sides of the field that had did that have anything to do with that? Yeah, we in the first half we were trying to cut that transfer and try to limit the um, the kind of movement across the pitch and the shift that happens when the ball swings around the backfield. So, the first half tried to mimic minimize that, and then the second half we moved into really just making sure nothing was coming through the center and spine of our field. So the goalie battle between Vandervet and Kennedy. What were your thoughts on that? Yeah, I mean both made game change, absolute game changing uh, saves. Um, you know, ultimately, when you give up or earn a penalty corner in overtime, it's just less defenders, less people inside that circle. So that net looks perceptually a lot, a lot bigger there. Um, so those direct balls are, are tough. Um, but you no, know, incredible game by Merline. Um, you know, made some great, some great saves on the uh, far side of the post in the first half that that kept us in um, and ultimately Marilyn is a very good communicator and like a big piece of that backfield kind of settling down for the second half as well yeah, and you played basically a game and then some today and now yeah. you're going back right on Sunday uh, load management a factor for Sunday at all against Brian yeah um, you know we do have some some good depth and Sunday being a non-conference we'll do a lot of film tomorrow of, of today's match and see what we can pull from it um, but ultimately, you know, we'll use tomorrow. We will be late tomorrow. See if we can get out here, wake the legs up, um, and get after it on Sunday again. Uh, how would you describe the resilience of the team after being down with nothing in a sloppy first three quarters? And, like, going yeah, back and forth? you know, there is some pride I have in the fight that we have and um, kind of the resiliency and the, the relentlessness we've seen our team you know, battle back the Kent State game was a similar situation. We've seen us kind of battle back and find pride in that. And I, what I like about that is that even though we are, you know, young and um, we're learning a lot every game, we're getting a little bit better, a little bit better, and we're, the passing connections are just getting there finally. Um, this season, we're really learning each other. I do have this immense amount of respect for the grind and the, almost like the, the chip on the shoulder, like, well, we've got to get one now, right? And um, you know, I'm hoping that we learn something from today and that we learn that it takes 60 minutes of hockey, you know, not, not counting that, that overtime period, that first half, we were just a bit not ourselves, which we, what we have been the past five games in the first half. Um, so, you know, there's, there's a lot of good from today, but there's some cleanup too. And, and we've got to, you know, clean it up for tomorrow's film session, see what we can learn from it and free attack Sunday. Third goal of the year for Samantha Sparrow uh, to tie the game. She, from going from kind of an off the bench type of player to in that starting role and now producing. What have you seen from from her to in the in the in her time here now? Yeah, it's uh, she's a special one this year. Her her work ethic is what is just the most consistent piece about her, and she's a sponge. Um, she's new to the forward line. 
Um, she worked really hard this summer. She came in and in, in shape and and she's, you know, even though she's cracked into that starting lineup and playing a, a key role for us, she's asking for individual sessions with me every week and working on school scoring. And those are the, the behind the scenes stuff that, that people don't see during the week is kind of the, the relentlessness and the resilience that our kids have for more, more, more. And that I, you know, I'm so proud of on every level. And it's, it's tough to see, you know, they're in heartbreak mode right now and trying to, you know, take themselves out of this loss, um, you know, as we all are. But at the same time, I'm really proud of that we got ourselves to overtime in a conference game and that fourth quarter. And, um, you know, there are many times that we could have finished it. So it's, uh, it's, it's, I'm really proud of the team. And Sam Spares every day in and day out this season, just grinding. A great example of that. There are no more questions at this time. This includes today's post-game press conference. Coach, thank you. Yes, thank you. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Coach.